watching the South Texas News Leader. This is 3 News at 10. In the late news tonight, vets are warning folks not to share their Thanksgiving leftovers with their pets. Plus, a fatal crash outside of Cal Allen kills two men and sends another one to the hospital after two vehicles collide and then one goes up in flames. And some folks started their Christmas today by heading to one local tree stand, which has been a holiday fixture here in town for some 35 years. And while we've got a look at the rest of your holiday weekend forecast, it is going to include more clouds, rain chances returning, and another cool front. And good evening, everyone. I'm Michael Gibson at the top tonight. Many of you might be experiencing food coma after a full day of feasting. But vets warn those Thanksgiving dishes and leftovers aren't for everyone. The days following the holiday are often one of the busiest times for area animal hospitals. Tonight, our Bill Churchwell spoke with a vet who has an important reminder for all pet owners. There's always that one uninvited guest under the dinner table. But no matter how cute that face is, vets say don't do it. And that goes for leftovers, too. I get, I've got a simple, simple rule. If you put it in your mouth, don't put it in your dog's mouth. It's hard to say no to a cute dog like Zendaya here, but Scott Bugai, a veterinarian, says if you stick to his rule, you will avoid all kinds of life-threatening problems for your pets. Anything that's greasy or spicy, uh, which a lot of our holiday meals are, uh, and uh, anything that's, that's got fat in it, a lot of a lot of dogs are, are not fat tolerant. They're fat intolerant and, and more sensitive to it. To a certain breeds in particular. Vets tend to see an increase of sick pets following holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. In fact, it's said to be one of their busiest times of the year when pets are given food they aren't quite used to getting and could be tough to digest. You'll see lethargy, not eating, uh, vomiting, diarrhea or all of the above. If you see any of these signs or symptoms, Dr. Bugai says don't put off getting treatment because depending on what they've ingested, it could be extremely dangerous for your furry friend. It can turn serious. There's uh, pancreatitis can be fatal. Uh, not every dog that's that's lethargic or vomiting or that got into to table foods is going to get pancreatitis, but some of them will. And whatever you do, don't hand over those corn cobs or turkey bones. Not just turkey bones, but just any bones in general. They could get lodged, they could, could cause a, a, a puncture of, a, of an intestine or stomach. Sweets are also a big no and can lead to a rapid drop in blood sugar and to liver damage. If your vet is closed for the holiday, seek out a 24-hour pet clinic. You can also call the pet poison hotline for consultation, but a fee might apply. I say these things are 100% preventable. 100% preventable. Just know your animals and know what you should and shouldn't do. He says if your pet begs, put them in another room until dinner is over and make sure kids and guests also know the house rules when visiting because after all, dogs are going to beg. Dogs are going to be dogs. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. Good job, Bill. You know, today it's the meal, but part of that feast is going to turn tomorrow into one of the busiest days of the year for plumbers. Grease down the drain, stuffed garbage disposals, extra guests using the restroom, and more can cause all kinds of problems. Experts say the stoppages can be prevented by not pouring grease down the sink, not putting vegetable peels and eggs down the garbage disposal, and running with water. They also say planning ahead will also help. Look around your house, make sure there's nothing that should be taken care of prior to that company coming. So plan now for your uh, Christmas company and see if there are any plumbing repairs that can be done in advance. Plumbers ask not to use drain cleaning chemicals as they often work only to a limited degree and can cause dangerous backsplash and injure those plumbers as they attempt to try to snake those clogged drains. Tonight, AAA is predicting that this year could rank among the most active Thanksgiving travel periods it's ever recorded. But weather could upend travel plans for those traveling home in the upcoming days. Snow is in the forecast, drifting from some Rocky Mountain states down into parts of the plains and over to the Midwest and then on to the Northeast. The weather is definitely the X factor for Sunday when many are set to make their Thanksgiving returns. TSA encouraging passengers 
to arrive prepared. Experts advise drivers to hit the road before noon. And if you do plan to hit the roads, there's some good news tonight. Fuel prices are down significantly across the board. The average cost of regular unleaded is 274, down 14 cents from just last week at this same time. Diesel, 355, down 13. Statewide, unleaded is 273, and that's down 8 cents. Lately, our temperatures have been down, and it now at least feels like what fall should be like. Meteorologist Kristen Wallace here now to tell us if this cool weather is here to stay. Kristen. Hey there, Michael. The cool weather is here to stay for at least a little while, and especially in the mornings. We are going to warm up as we head into the weekend. Right now, temperatures in the 50s, but we do have a couple of 40 degree readings on our map in Sinton, Beeville, over in Freer as well. That's where we're seeing the clouds clear out and the dew points dropping just a little bit. You can see some clouds, though, hanging on right along the coast, where we also have that Gulf humidity, and that is where we are finding our warmer temperatures at this time. We did see some rain this morning. All the colors on the map here are radar estimates. The numbers are actual reporting stations. You can see no one really reporting a whole heck of a lot of rain, about a couple hundredths of an inch at most here in Corpus Christi. We saw four one hundredths of an inch of rain. We are going to dry out heading into tonight as well as into tomorrow. However, rain chances will return until then. 49 for our low overnight. Some places, though, dipping down into the lower 40s, so it is going to be on the chilly side to kick off Black Friday. If you do have any shopping plans, make sure you bundle up on your way out the door, but you may be leaving that jacket behind as you're uh, running to all the different stores because we are going to see more sunshine tomorrow. That means temperatures a little bit warmer and more mild than we have been. So here's a breakdown of that Black Friday forecast. Mild in 71 for our high, but again, chilly to start. So if you're in the market for a new jacket, you can maybe go get one and then put it to use right away tomorrow morning. Michael. Thanks, Kristen. And a reminder that the no refusal initiative underway right now in Corpus Christi and the police department says it will be actively enforcing it and looking out for those drunk drivers on the road. And if someone is suspected of drunk driving and they refuse a breath or blood sample, police will quickly get a blood search warrant. The no refusal is in effect each day from 930 at night until 530 in the morning, and that's through Sunday. Tonight, we're still waiting to learn the identities of the two men killed in that crash near Cal Allen that happened late last night. DPS Sergeant Rob Mallory tells us the driver of the SUV fell to stop at a stop sign at FM 624 and FM 70 and hit a crane truck on the driver's side. That's when the SUV went up in flames. The 19 year old driver died on the scene as well as an 18, a 48 year old man who was in that crane truck. An 18 year old passenger was taken to Christus Spahn Hospital where he remains in critical condition. Now turning to the Middle East uh, where the temporary ceasefire between Israel and Hamas is just one hour away. Qatar's foreign ministry saying a four day pause is set to begin Friday in Gaza at 7 a.m. local time. Then the first hostages will be released later that afternoon. Under the terms of the deal, the first 50 hostages will be transferred through Egypt over to Israel. All women and uh, children and uh, those hostages who are from the same families will be uh, put together within the same patch. Israel's government says it received an initial list of who will be released and has notified those families. The first 13 hostages are being handed over on Friday and at least 10 more each day until the four day temporary pause in the war expires. There was a bit of drama at the Macy's Thanksgiving parade in New York this morning. A group of pro-Palestinian protesters tried to disrupt the parade by breaking through the barriers and trying to glue themselves to the street. Police were able to take them into custody and the parade continued without much more disruption. Tonight, residents in Kentucky are returning to their homes following a train derailment that released hazardous toxins into the air. At least 16 freight cars went off the tracks. Two of them were carrying molten sulfur. When those caught fire, it then released sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. According to the EPA, short term exposure can cause respiratory issues, difficulty breathing and can be harmful to children and of course people with asthma. 
Earlier this afternoon, reporters asked Governor Greg Abbott during a Meals on Wheels event in Austin about the ongoing special legislative session, including those school vouchers. The program would set aside taxpayer money to help parents send their children to private schools. Last week, Democrats and rural Republicans in the House stopped the proposal from moving forward for now. Since then, Governor Greg Abbott has announced endorsements for House members who support school vouchers. Today, he said he's focused on getting more pro-voucher Republicans elected. Uh, listen, there's a, there is a divide right now, and what's important is uh, that, that we have, at least on the Republican side, Republicans who are voting consistent with where their constituents are. The Republican constituents in this state strongly support school vouchers by more than 80 percent, and we want to have representatives uh, whose uh, constituents by more than 80 percent support school vouchers. The legislature is in its fourth special session of the year, and it's set to end in about two weeks. Tomorrow, college football on ABC will preempt the evening news. However, we will air a special 15-minute newscast on our streaming app, 3 News Plus, and on the web at KTRIPLITV.com. That's tomorrow live at 5 p.m. Now, some people put a little Christmas in their Thanksgiving today as a longtime tree stand opened today for the holiday shopping season. Now we spoke with the Christmas tree experts about how to keep those evergreen wonders fresh through the holidays. We also checked out the price tag for some of those trees this year. That story and much more on the way right after this short break. See something you got to share? Connect with us and tell three. How do we earn award after award? by treating every case like it's our only case. Thomas J. Henry, the name you know, the firm you trust. Whether you're a rapper or a rap it upper, AutoNation knows there's nothing better than ending the year with a great car. So celebrate the holidays by wrapping up a new AutoNation Chevrolet, drive new Silverados, $7,000 off, or new Equinox, $5,000 off. Now that's a wrap. Go to AutoNation Chevrolet or AutoNation.com now. What drives you, drives us. AutoNation Chevrolet. So we did a tune-up on your AC, and remember, all of our work is backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. Wow, that is great. At Matthew CCAC, we do everything from AC replacements to a wide variety of HVAC services. We can even help with any plumbing issue you may have, and we provide a wide variety of electrical services, too. No matter the household issue, Matthew CCAC has you covered. Get free estimates on AC system replacement, panel and service upgrades, and water heaters. Every Wednesday, KIIII 3 News spotlights outstanding area students. The three-star student is special recognition for a job well done. Visit KIIII.com and register your nomination for a chance to be our next three-star student. Then watch Wednesday mornings on 3 News First Edition for special winner announcements. The three-star student spotlight is proudly sponsored by Flint Hills Resources, Alan Samuels Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, and Texas A&M University Kingsville. This Friday, November 24th, starting at 9 a.m. for 24 hours only. It's Black Friday at Rooms to Go with doorbuster coupon values and amazing savings. Check your newspaper, your mailbox, online, or your Rooms to Go app for valuable Rooms to Go doorbuster coupons. Good for amazing store-wide savings. Plus, don't miss our Rooms to Go 60-month interest-free finance offer. That's 24 hours only. Friday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., Saturday, 10 to 10. Get amazing Rooms to Go Black Friday doorbuster coupon savings. The seven-day weather forecast is sponsored by NEC Co-op Energy. And welcome back, everyone. Some folks were in the market today for that perfect Christmas tree. One stand has offered that opportunity to shop on Thanksgiving for 35 years now. So I headed over to the back parking lot of Law Palmera Mall, where the Holiday Hills Christmas tree tents are now up and filled with those fresh cut trees. Workers were busy sawing trees and hammering tree stands in place. That, as Oregon's Holiday Hills Christmas trees, is back for another shopping season. The most important part is to get it home within 30 minutes and back into water. Otherwise, that fresh cut stump 
starts to seal and it won't drink. Annie Lane is with Holiday Hills Christmas Trees and says getting your fresh cut tree in water and then continuing to keep it watered is the key to making it last all the way through Christmas. So those guys back there are six and a half against that last, that back wall. Yeah. Isaiah Zuniga stopped by this tree stand to try and find the perfect tree on this Thanksgiving day. We had found some trees inside here that cost nearly $1,000, but there were also some closer to the $100 mark. We asked Isaiah what he was looking for and why. Either a Douglas fir type of tree, um, mostly because it's more uh, affordable since it's very expensive nowadays and especially the food and stuff. This tree stand is going to be open seven days a week during this holiday shopping season. And if you do decide to come by, the folks here say that if you don't have a car big enough to fit your Christmas tree inside, well, delivery is available. And that uh, tree look really nice. They do um, put that fake snow on them for you. KIIII's 36th annual Share Your Christmas Food Drive is set for December 15th and will benefit the Coastal Bend Food Bank. Right now, you can help make it another huge success by donating to area schools. All Coastal Bend campuses are asked to participate by collecting canned food or cash. The school with the most donations will be announced December 15th during 3 News at 6. And the Christmas season kicked off tonight thanks to the annual Garcia Holiday Light Show near South Alameda and Rossiter. They've been putting on holiday light displays since 2013. And if you want to listen to this light show, all you have to do is drive up and tune to 100.7 FM on your radio dial. They're open from 6 to 10 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. And on Friday and Saturday, they open until 11 o'clock. Kristen Wallace back with us now. And it's quickly starting to look a lot like yes. Christmas, but is it going to continue to be frosty feeling or more toasty? Yeah, we're probably not going to see Frosty the Snowman going down the street. I don't think it's going to be cold enough for him just yet. Darn. I know. <laughs> but I have seen plenty of folks and even some restaurants starting to put up their holiday lights and wreaths. Yes. And it is definitely getting me into the holiday spirit. Absolutely. As well as this cooler weather that we've been enjoying, we are going to be warmer tomorrow and through the weekend, at least in the afternoons. The mornings are still going to be on the cool side. Today we started off on a cool note at 52 degrees and we got up to 61. So both of those numbers below average. Of course, the high temperature much more below average than that low. We're sitting at 52 right now, so we'll likely see our low temperature for the day actually happen here in the next hour or two as funny as that is it'll likely happen as our temperature drops below 52 here pretty soon a couple of places already below the 50 degree mark and into the 40s that'll continue to drop as we head into tonight here's a look at the state of texas right now a lot of folks very chilly here i think pretty much everyone under the 60 degree mark at this time amarillo under the 40 degree mark here's the low pressure that brought us the rain chances this morning and some of the rain that we saw here in corpus christi it's going to continue to move out of here over to our east and and if you are heading around the state, maybe heading out or back into the coastal bend, here's a look around the state at what you can expect. A lot clearer weather tomorrow with much more sunshine, but you'll notice the clouds coming back in heading into the weekend, as well as some rain chances starting to pop up. Those also come down here to the coastal bend on Saturday and Sunday. You'll also notice Sunday much cooler up in Dallas and North Texas. It's from a cold front that's going to head our way. We'll touch on that here in just a second. Let's take a look at future cast through this evening. You can see those temperatures continuing to drop a couple more degrees as we head into tomorrow morning into the upper 40s under mostly clear skies, but we will see those upper level clouds still hanging around and into tomorrow. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies 71 for our high thanks to more sunshine than we saw today. We saw a little bit of sunshine right there at the end of the day here in Corpus Christi. We'll see a lot more heading into tomorrow and that'll give us those warmer temperatures. Easterly winds bringing in more humidity. That means warmer mornings, but still cool right under 60 degrees. We'll also see more clouds and rain chances heading into the weekend as a result of that humidity increase as well. But temperatures staying very similar to where they will be tomorrow, right around 70 degrees. So let's take a look at where that cold front is coming from heading into this weekend. We'll see it entering into North Texas and down towards the valley as late as, or as early as Sunday evening. And this is going to take our temperatures pretty much back to where we are right now. So we're going to get into the 70s on Sunday afternoon again, right back into the 40s. But Monday afternoon, 
afternoon could actually be cooler than we have been this entire Thanksgiving holiday. So that's something to look forward to if you are a fan of that cooler weather. So again, those temperatures dropping uh, from the 70s back into the 50s with widely scattered shower chances. That cold front expected to come in uh, later in the day on Sunday. Tonight, chilly but drier than we were last night. 49 for our low temperature heading into tomorrow afternoon. 71 for our high temperature. So a very mild afternoon. Really, really nice weather heading into the weekend. The next couple of days right around 70 degrees as well, though we are going to see that scattered shower chance kind of come into the forecast as we get closer to the end of the weekend with that cold front. You going to do any shopping tomorrow? I hope so. It's going to have to be online, though. I got to be here again. Oh, that's right. Well, you can always wait for Cyber Monday. True. So True that. We've got so many shopping days. <laughs> Keep track of all of them. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. Well, Black Friday is tomorrow, but the whole day has changed quite a bit since those days of shoppers storming stores and fighting with each other to get their hands on great deals. When 3 News returns, we'll have a report on the evolution of this shopping holiday. The Port of Corpus Christi is steering our community toward a brighter horizon, charting pathways to success for students and young professionals. Our portable learning lab brings STEM discovery straight to schools. The Adopt-A-School program speeds learning resources to the kids who need it most. And our Navigate internship program builds real-world skills and a bridge to becoming part of our team. We're building a stronger tomorrow by powering knowledge today. ABC employs a thousand men and women, full-time employees with full benefits, and we want you to be one too. Hi, I'm Bobby Jenkins. Good people making a good living is what's powered ABC for over 70 years. We offer medical, 401k, pay time off, and profit sharing, plus competitive pay in all our trades. So if you're looking for a company you can grow with, especially a young person looking for a career, apply at ABC. ABC Home and Commercial Services, specialists for your environment. Consumer Reports evaluates vehicles for car shoppers in reliability, safety, owner satisfaction, and road test evaluations. And the results are in. Subaru is the 2023 best mainstream automotive brand, according to Consumer Reports. And Subaru has seven Consumer Reports recommended models. Outback, Forester, Solterra, Crosstrek, Ascent, Impreza, and Legacy. It's easy to love a brand you can trust. It's easy to love a Subaru. Texans have a long tradition of taking care of their own. For the past 30 years, Thomas J. Henry has built one of the largest personal injury firms the state has ever seen. Built on record-breaking results and a dedication to fighting for Texans who have been injured or lost a loved one. He is proud to continue this tradition and is ready to fight for those in need. When you see that Texas Lone Star, just know Thomas J. Henry is ready to use decades of experience to help you and your family. When you sleep on the right mattress, it makes everything clear. I know exactly where my passport is. The right mattress matters. We'll find yours. It's the big one. It's Black Friday at Mattress Firm. Come soon. Save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic and get a $300 instant gift. Mattress Firm. Remember when Black Friday meant people pitching tents, sleeping outside the store, lines of shoppers wrapped around the block? Well, this is video from Black Friday in 2013. Well, that's all become a thing of the past. This was taken earlier tonight, and as you can see, there's no line at all. There's no one there. Kind of disappointing. Reporter Tiffany Liu shows us how retailers are rethinking their entire approach to Black Friday shopping. The words Black Friday have a reputation. Well, Black Friday is always a huge shopping day. Long lines starting Thanksgiving, people sleeping outside stores. But Black Friday's changed a little bit over the years. Holly Quattaro is the fashion and lifestyle director at Galleria Dallas. She has seen the changes firsthand. I feel like for so many years it was cutthroat and get there in the middle of the night and, you know, really go for it. And now it's more about enjoying the season. It's because e-commerce continues to trend up. 
no longer trampled inside Walmart. According to Dr. Ashish Sadai, an assistant professor of economics with UT Arlington. Nowadays, it's more about uh, online shopping. It started over a decade ago, but when the world shut down in 2020, pandemic has a role to play for sure. Online shopping skyrocketed, shortening lines that once wrapped around the stores overnight. But still, people are spending more money. The National Retail Federation expects 182 million people to shop this long weekend. 130.7 million are potential shoppers on Black Friday alone, a mix of in-store and online. It's like consumers like to go to physical stores, but they want to buy online. There will be good deals everywhere. It's just a matter of how you want to buy. The value of going to physical stores you know, with the family uh, on, a, on a Black Friday weekend still remains. The tradition of shopping with loved ones, that isn't going away. So have a list and check it twice before you head out. But with an outdated reputation, Black Friday now is a less stressful and more enjoyable part of the holidays. I'm Tiffany Liu. <laughs> well, the Dallas Cowboys and Washington Commanders faced off in a Turkey Day contest. When we return, Chris will have the highlights as the Cowboys ran roughshod over that team from D.C. This is going to be a lot of fun. He's got the stars. Yeah. <laughs> the studs. I don't remember a time in my life I didn't watch a show. And the unexpected. I've always thought of you as Dave Jr. Every hair on my body is standing up right now. Jimmy Kimmel Live, weeknights on ABC. You look like a responsible family guy. You looking for something with a little more space? Since it's a Volkswagen signed in drive event, I just seen your signature right here. Oh, you do have a driver's license, right? I have mine. Perfect timing. <laughs> with the click of a pen, you can get a new Volkswagen at the sign then drive event. Come see the great team at Volkswagen and Corpus Christi. We'll make you happy. Peace and love, my friends. Banking used to be pretty simple. Today, financial needs are more complex because it's not just what you pay for, but how. No matter who you are or where you're from, you need a financial partner that can bring it all together. At Rally Credit Union, we are here to answer the call, to stand behind you, fight for your goals, and to be your biggest cheerleader. Because we can agree, that's something we all need. Rally Credit Union, banking for all. We are astounded. Experience the number one rated internet with this special offer. And now we have mobile too. Switch today. Get fast, reliable internet starting at $25 a month all in for one year. Don't forget to ask about Astound Mobile. We are Astound. At Greater Texas Orthopedic Associates, we specialize in personal injury cases only. Our highly trained doctors have over 70 years of experience in pain management and orthopedics. We will make sure that your injuries are diagnosed accurately and treated effectively. We work with all personal injury attorneys in the state of Texas. You've been in an accident. Dealing with insurance companies and repair shops can be frustrating and confusing, but your health care shouldn't be. Greater Texas Orthopedic Associates, we're here for you. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of it in a new Honda. Whether it's traveling to the holiday family dinner in an efficient Accord hybrid, or heading to a hike to burn it off in a powerful CRV hybrid. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Closed captioning of 3 News is brought to you by KIII TV and sponsored by Herman and Herman, always putting you first. Good evening, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving with your family, friends, had some great food, had some football, because the Cowboys got to have both today. Dallas looking for an NFC East win over the Commanders here in the first. Dak going to hit Rico Dowdle on the check down and getting in for the score. Cowboys going up 7-0. Then later blowing this one open late. Dak to Cavante Turpin. Turkey legs for everyone in the Salvation Army bucket. More on that in a second. Then NFL history on defense for Deron Bland. Take a listen. 10. There it is. This is history. 
if Bland can take it the distance, this will be the record. Bland for the fifth time has a pick six. It's never happened in the history of the NFL. Jim Nance with a Hall of Fame call as Bland becomes the first to ever have five pick sixes in a season. The Cowboys still have five games to go in the regular season as well. The boys roll in the second half to dominate this one. 45-10, they go to eight and three, actually six more games. Now 17 game schedule. Here's Mike McCarthy on the win and the turkey leg celebration. Well, you know, when Jerry's in the in the locker room uh, before the game, speaking on it and and uh, uh, and it was all for it. So I just told him, hey, we, we that game better be well out of hand before we start pulling turkey nuggets out of <laughs> out of a kettle can. That's that was a little different pregame for me. Um, but no, it's a great win, great home win. And to their credit, the game was out of hand when they did that. Uh, the Cowboys will next host Seattle, who's getting beat pretty bad by the 49ers tonight, 31-13 in the fourth. That game will be next Thursday in Arlington and can be seen on the Amazon Prime app. Well, the Lions brought a six-year Thanksgiving losing streak with them to today's matchup with the Green Bay, but could this be the year they actually snap that streak? No, not so much. The Packers scoring early and often in this one. Jaden Reed with the touchdown there. Then Jared Goff, the fumble, and this one all Packers, although Detroit made it close late. 29-22 the final in that one. Hey, big day of high school football playoffs tomorrow. Miller, the only home game. Everyone else in San Antonio, Flower Bluff, Liberty Hill, Alice, Port La Vaca, Sinton, Geronimo Navarro, Ingleside, Wimberley, and Refurio Weimer. We will have some kind of coverage of everything tomorrow night, 10 o'clock. Well, this has been an exciting weekend. There's something to do anywhere Absolutely. you turn. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Last check of weather. It's going to be cool to start tomorrow. Temperatures in the 40s. Then we get up into the 70s tomorrow afternoon. We do have a little bit of sunshine in store, so that's helping take our temperatures up just a little bit more to a more mild level as opposed to the gloomy, cool weather we had today. So a little chilly for football oh, tomorrow Oh, definitely. Absolutely. All right. All right. I love the chill. That's a great thing. Yep. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody, for tuning in on this uh, late night edition of 3 News, and uh, we'll all see you tomorrow.